Hello, my name is John Vander, Athletic Director of Penn College. I would like to welcome you to the fourth annual Penn College Wildcat Athletic Awards, to be known from this point forward as the CATS, which stands for Celebrating Athletic Triumphs and Successes. We celebrate this year's athletic and academic achievements by our student athletes, coaches, and staff. We also celebrate our seniors who have made a significant impact on our department and college. At the beginning of the year, we challenge our student athletes to compete in every facet of their lives, and they did just that, not knowing that the hardest challenge was yet to come. We all face a different reality this past March, and in particular our spring sports teams, as their season was cut short after only a handful of games due to COVID-19. For our spring student athletes, we are saddened by this outcome. Our hearts go out to our seniors who did not get the opportunity to end their careers on their own terms. I'm hoping this experience makes you stronger, realizing to never take anything for granted because you never know when it will be taken away. The sad reality you had to deal with this past season. What I am very proud about is after a life-changing moment like this is the response of our students, coaches, and staff. You all responded with enthusiasm, compassion, and commitment to the challenges you were facing. From taking online classes, reaching out to your professors, advisors, classmates, teammates, your social media presence, and your creativity in those platforms shine through during this very unprecedented time. And it was amazing to watch, like, and share. We had a great year with teams improving as well as advancing in their respected playoffs. We enhanced our facilities at UPMC Field and HVAC and Barter Gymnasium. In the fall, we announced our addition of our men's lacrosse team moving to intercollegiate play in spring 2021. We have inducted our second class of student athletes in the Chi Alpha Sigma National Honor Society. This is a very exciting time for Penn College Athletics as we continue to expand and improve in the NEAC Conference and the NCAA. I also realize the amount of time and effort all you put into this past season and I thank you for your unwavering commitment to your coaches and to your teammates. Penn College is very proud of you and it's important that you realize how important you are to our college. Like I said many times before, being a college student athlete is a remarkable achievement and something you all should be very proud about. At this time, I would like to welcome Tom Zimmerman, our faculty athletic rep, who would like to share a few comments with you. Thank you, John. I'd like to congratulate all our student athletes for their academic performance during the fall 2019 semester. The aggregate GPA across all sports was an impressive 3.18 and of 236 student athletes, 59 achieved the Dean's List and 17 achieved perfect 4.0 GPAs for the fall semester. That is an achievement that is truly noteworthy. I'd like to also take this opportunity to announce that we will be inducting 20 student athletes into Chi Alpha Sigma, the National College Athlete Honor Society. Of the new inductees, 15 are juniors and 5 are seniors who previously had not achieved the 3.4 cumulative GPA necessary for induction. That is a tribute to your diligence and hard work. Again, congratulations. Stay tuned for another video wherein we'll acknowledge the 20 individuals who will join last year's inaugural group of 21, bringing the total membership of our Alpha Iota chapter to 41. Lastly, I'd like to thank all of the student athletes who assisted fellow student athletes in completing assignments, reviewing materials, sticking with their quiz and exam schedules, and fulfilling their requirements of labs, clinicals, field placements, etc. Your support of each other in the classroom, in the dorm, and on the athletic field does not go unnoticed. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. I would like to thank the members of our SAC committee who did a phenomenal job leading this this year. Softball player Jillian Sennett was our president. Taylor Gonzalez from Women's Soccer was our vice president. The volleyball player Savannah Slaw was our secretary. Our treasurer was Trey McCullough from Men's Basketball. And Jaquella Dyer from Women's Basketball and Tanner Lane from Men's Soccer headed up our social media accounts. 
A sincere thank you for your leadership, guidance, and work ethic to make our Student Athlete Advisory Committee a very successful group on our campus. This year, albeit a shortened one, we still managed to accumulate 1,725 hours of community service by 750 total participants. We also raised $1,540 for local charities. Special thanks to our advisors, Brittany Money and Krista Matlack, for assisting in these efforts. We are all very thankful for everyone involved in giving back to our Williamsport community. There are a few people we like to thank. Ms. Amber Shade, our department secretary, who deals with us on an everyday basis in our good moods and bad. You are truly a godsend, and we appreciate you in every way possible. Thank you for everything you do for us to make our lives easier. Mr. Tom Zerman, who is our faculty athletic rep, for all his hard work and dedication, especially spearheading our National Honor Society Chi Alpha Sigma for our student athletes, where we have honored 41 student athletes in the past two years. We are truly grateful for all your dedication, support, and being a fan of our student athletes. I would also like to thank Mr. Elliot Strickland, who is our Vice President for Student Affairs and our Direct Report for Athletics. Your leadership, commitment, and dedication to our department and needs is vital to our success, and we cannot thank you enough for everything you have done and everything you are continuing to do to help our student athletes have success. We would also like to thank our president, Dr. Gilmore, for serving as our NEAC conference chair, as well as the Division III NCAA President's Committee. We cannot thank you enough for all your support and commitment to our programs, and we hope we are making you Penn College proud. I would also like to thank the people in admissions, institutional advancement, general services, dining services, residence life, student engagement, career services, disability services, health services, counseling services, and our police. From this list, you can tell everyone has had a major impact on our department. And we thank you for all your hard work and dedication. We sincerely thank you all. At this time, I would like to introduce Matt Blymeyer, Assistant Athletic Director and Director of Athletic Communications, who will announce our first award. Thank you, John. The Newcomer of the Year is awarded to a first-year player that is a significant starter or contributor on their respective team. The nominees for Male Newcomer of the Year are Colton Bartlow, Golf, Corey Blackwell, Basketball, and Ryan Bauer, Wrestling. The 2019-2020 Male Newcomer of the Year is awarded to Ryan Bauer. Ryan had a season record of 21-21, and 21, and he led his team in matches wrestled, major decision wins with 7, and he tied for the team lead in takedowns with 58. He was second on the team in wins, tech falls, and team points. Congratulations, Ryan. The nominees for Female Newcomer of the Year are Lydia Albert, Basketball, and Sloan Tressler, Soccer. The 2019-2020 Female Newcomer of the Year is awarded to Sloan Trussler. Sloan started in 20 contests and earned 13 all NEAC honors. Her patience and positioning on defense caused headaches for opponents as Sloan and the rest of the defense held their opponents to just 36 goals. Her willingness to get involved in the attacking third forced the opposing team to be accountable for her whereabouts on both ends of the field, and she ended the year with 12 shots on goal and two assists as an outside defender. Her defensive performance assisted the program's second NEAC quarterfinal win and fourth consecutive appearance in the NEAC semifinals. Congratulations, Sloan. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Elliot Strickland, Vice President of Student Affairs, who, who will present our next award. Mr. Strickland. Thanks, Matt. It's my honor to present the Male and Female Scholar Athlete of the Year Award. This award is given to the male and female athlete who best exemplifies Penn College's athletics philosophy. The recipient of this award will have displayed academic success, sportsmanship, fair play, integrity, and have enhanced the experience of all members of our campus community through athletic performance, academic performance, leadership on campus and in the community, team contributions, and achievement and leadership in sports competition. The nominees for the Male Scholar Athlete Award are Dylan Geddes, Wrestling, Hayden Bider, Cross Country, 
and Brody Baker, basketball. Please join me in congratulating Hayden Bider as the 2019-2020 Male Scholar Athlete of the Year. Hayden is a residential construction technology major carrying a cumulative 4.0 GPA. He is a two-time NEAC Scholar Athlete, president of the Penn College Construction Association, a member of the Alpha Chi Honor Society, and a member of the Chi Alpha Sigma Honor Society. Hayden has contributed 64 hours of community service this academic year and has involved, been involved with various community service events such as the Susquehanna Builders Association Home Show, PA Build My Future, and the U-Haul Crew for Welcome Weekend. Congratulations, Hayden. The nominees for the Female Scholar Athlete Award are Brittany Weiskopf, Cross Country, and Taylor Gonzalez, Soccer. Please join me in congratulating Taylor Gonzalez as the 2019-2020 Female Scholar Athlete of the Year. Taylor was named second team all-conference in the NEAC and served as the vice president for the Student Athlete Advisory Committee. Taylor is also actively participating in meetings with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes and works on campus with the Community Peer Educator Program. Taylor has also been recognized as a NEAC Scholar Athlete for two consecutive years, and she has earned a 3.51 cumulative GPA in nursing. Congratulations, Taylor. I also wanted to thank all our Scholar Athletes for making us Penn College proud by so superbly excelling in their athletic, academic, and leadership pursuits. Thanks, and have a great summer. Thank you, Mr. Strickland. Our next award is the Male and Female Athlete of the Year. This award is given to the male and female athlete who best exemplifies excellence in athletics. The award is based on the following criteria. Athletic performance, team contributions, achievement and or leadership in sports competition. The nominees for the Male Athlete of the Year Award are Britton Kittle, Baseball, Ben Sosa, Basketball, and Jared Mooney, Wrestling. The 2019-2020 Male Athlete of the Year Award goes to Mr. Britton Kittle of the baseball team. Britton was a 2019 first team all-conference selection with a 320 batting average. Britton also surpassed the 100 career hits mark last year. He led his team with five home runs and with 32 RBIs. During the brief 2020 season, Britton came out white hot with a 567 batting average and an insane 1.79 OPS. He also had five home runs and 17 hits in just the first 10 games of the season. He was also named the NEAC Player of the Week in the only week of competition. Congratulations, Britton. The nominees for Female Athlete of the Year Award are Ms. Morgan Heritage from Softball and Ms. Dominique Brown from Soccer. The 2019-2020 Female Athlete of the Year Award goes to Ms. Morgan Heritage from our softball team. Morgan was named a 2019 All-NEAC First Team Selection. She was also named NEAC Pitcher of the Week once and she led her team to the NEAC runner-up finish. Morgan also threw a no-hitter and ranked in the top five in conference standings in wins, ERA, and strikeouts. During the very brief nine-game season of 2020, Morgan had 33 Ks, four wins, and was named the NEAC Pitcher of the Week in their first week of competition. Congratulations, Morgan. Our Coach of the Year Award. This award is given to the coach that best demonstrates leadership, teamwork, overcoming obstacles, and guidance to their program in all facets. The nominees for the Coach of the Year Award are Mr. Jeff Hensley, Men's Basketball, Ms. Brittany Money, Women's Basketball, and Ms. Krista Matlack, Women's Soccer. The 2019-2020 Coach of the Year Award goes to Mr. Jeff Hensley, Men's Basketball. Coach Hensley guided his program to a 7-19 record, including the program's first NEAC postseason appearance. Coach Hensley took over the program in dire need of leadership and accountability in June of 2018 and has turned the program into a very competitive team on the court, in the classroom, and in the community. The team had one all-conference selection in Ben Sosa, and this season the team increased their win total by 25%. They also celebrated two players passing 1,000 career points mark. Congratulations, Coach Hensley. To the senior class. In the last four years, you have played a major role in growing this athletic department. From our academic growth, including our highest department GPA ever recorded, our highest number of scholar-athlete winners, to our athletic achievements, 
including an increase in all conference selection members, consistent playoffs, and semifinal appearances. Our community service, where we have grown in hours and participants each year for our Williamsport community. The NEAC conference growth and success that we have climbed in the President's Cup from 14th place back in 2015 to third place in 2018 and 19. You have been a big part of our facility improvements, including the brand new UPMC field, renovated Bardo gym, the players lounge, and of course, this beautiful conference room. The new Wildcat logo, which you are a part of, the additions of Volt, Front Rush, Wrapped Buses, Better Travel, Practice Gear, and the list goes on and on. You have made significant impact on our department and campus, and we couldn't be prouder of the men and women you have become. Your place in history at Penn College will forever be remembered as a turning point of our athletics department, and for that I am sincerely thankful for each and every one of you. We wish you nothing but the best in your future, and remember you always have a home here at Penn College. We will miss you dearly. That concludes our virtual CATS ceremony, and congratulations again to our award winners, and a sincere thank you to our seniors. Thank you all for a great year, and we look forward to seeing you all again in the fall. Take care.